Welcome to VidZet. I'm Dr. Ted Noel. I'm attempting to do this without a script because some people think that when I use a script I look like I don't know what I'm talking about. I actually use a script because I want to make sure I cover all of the points I want to cover without going over there. Today I want to talk about Dr. Lisa Bardak's letter that supposedly says Hillary Clinton's in great health. There are several things in this letter that are real red flags. The first one is, and I quote, pulse oximetry of 99%, closed quote. Now, as an anesthesiologist, I have used pulse oximetry on virtually every patient I've cared for since pulse oximetry entered clinical practice in 1986. I do believe that makes me somewhat of a subject matter expert. Now, pulse oximetry uses lights through the fingertip to measure how much oxygen is in your blood. That is, how much saturation it is. If you look at a young athlete, perhaps 20, 25 years old, you will see a resting room air oxygen saturation of 99, perhaps 100% not uncommon there. And basically as we are young we find that the lungs match the blood to the air coming in quite well. As we get older that matchup starts to fall apart just a little bit. Not a lot but enough that you see after age 40 you see the oxygen saturation dropping by about one point for every 10 years. So by the time you get to age 70 you're looking at an oxygen saturation normal for the age of about 96. Now, if Hillary Clinton had a right middle lobe pneumonia, which she's said to have had, she's got a pneumonia in the most common place for aspiration pneumonia, which is common in Parkinson's disease. But what happens with a pneumonia is we start with the blood but the space where the air would come in here gets filled up by gunk so the air can't get to the blood as well as it did before and you end up with blood going through the lung without picking up as much oxygen. That means that the oxygen saturation drops a few points. You know if it's a mild pneumonia it might only be a couple of points but then once you start recovering it will work its way back up. Now, Dr. Bardak says that on Friday she prescribed an antibiotic. Well, the report came out five days later. Okay, Hillary's feeling better, but her oxygen saturation has not come up to her normal. Notice I said her normal. So where she would start at 95 or 96, she's now at 94, maybe 93, a couple of points lower. And it's going to take a little while for that to get all the way back up where it needs to go. So we may say with absolute confidence that this 99% oxygen saturation report is not factual. The next item is something that Dr. Milton Wolf has talked about. Now he's a board certified diagnostic radiologist and Hillary Clinton is supposed to have had a non-contrast CT with a CT angiography score that's perfect. Well the problem here is CT angiography requires contrast she had a non-contrast CT therefore Hillary got a perfect score on a test that doesn't exist. Let's go on she is reported to have a blood pressure of 100 over 70. Sounds wonderful. The only problem is if you go to your cardiologist at age 70 with a blood pressure of 100 over 70, he's going to be wondering why it's that low. The cardiologists have learned that by age 70 you want a blood pressure that's probably 125 to 130 and they don't get excited if it's a little bit higher than that. So if you have a blood pressure of 100 over 70, oh and by the way with a heart rate of 70, women normally are about 80, then he's going to be asking questions about why it's so low. And surprise, autonomic dysfunction is also part of Parkinson's disease. Now the low blood pressure, mind you, doesn't prove it, but it's consistent with it. 
And automa the autonomics do the automatic things in your body. They handle sweating, they handle blood pressure, and so on. And in Parkinson patients, we often see low blood pressure. We often see problems where when they're flat and they go to get up, they get blood pressure that's really low because the autonomics aren't working well. This means we have another item that is consistent with our Parkinson's story. Doesn't prove it, but it's consistent. The last item is one that got Dr. Drew Pinsky of KABC in Los Angeles fired. He raised questions about her thyroid treatment. And Dr. Bardak says that her thyroid is managed based on a T3 level. If you check the literature, you check the, the guidelines, the standards of care, and you check your neighborhood endocrinologist. They will all tell you that standard of care is you measure TSH to tell whether you're treating your patient properly. Now, TSH is a hormone that's put out by the pituitary gland behind your eyes in the brain. And TSH is a stimulating hormone so that if your thyroid function is low, Thyroid stimulating hormone tells the thyroid gland in your neck to put out more thyroid hormone. It's a feedback mechanism that's natural. So what do we have? We have a pulse ox number that's not factual because it's impossible. We have a perfect score on a test that doesn't exist. We have no question raised about an abnormally low blood pressure and heart rate. And we have thyroid treatment based on an old method that's no longer standard of care. I have to retract what I've said before about her getting the best possible care. Something is rotten in Denmark. And this statement that we have from Dr. Bardak is a manufactured document and does not reflect Hillary Clinton's actual health. I'm Dr. Ted Noel. Thanks for watching.